Nordstrom. Oh, here he is. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Vice President, members of Congress, the First Lady of the United States. Oh, for Christ's sake. Show your My tits. dog. Show your tits. Show your tits. Show your tits. <laughs> and citizen of South America, tonight, as we mark the conclusion of our celebration of Black History Month, oh, for Christ's we are reminded sake. of our nation's path towards civil rights and the work that still remains to be done. And we love our Negroes. Recent threats. Whoa! Look at all these fight guys standing up. Isn't this a goddamn joke? Recent threats targeting Jewish community centers and vandalism of Jewish cemeteries, as well as last week's shooting in Kansas City, remind us that while we may be a nation divided on policies, we are a country that stands united in condemning hate and evil in all of its very ugly I forms. I don't think so, Mr. Trump. I just don't think that's the case. Your base wants more knocked over tombstones. Look at all these white people standing Each up American applauding Negroes, huh? Passes the torch of truth, liberty and justice in an unbroken chain all the way down to the present. That torch is now in our hands, and we will use it to light up the world. To set the place on I'm fire. I'm here tonight to deliver a message of unity and strength, <laughs> and it is a message deeply delivered from my heart. A new chapter. <laughs> of American greatness is now beginning. A new national pride is sweeping across our nation. Really? And a new surge of optimism is placing impossible dreams firmly within our grasp. Oh, come What we are witnessing on. today is the renewal of the American spirit. Our allies will find that America is once again ready to lead. Did he say ready to lead leave. or ready to leave? I think he said leave. Leave? Say go! Show us your tits! All the nations of the world, friend or foe, will find that America is strong, America is proud, and America is free. In nine years, the United States will celebrate the 250th anniversary of our founding, 250 years since the day we declared our independence. It will be one of the great milestones in the history of the world. But what will America look like as we reach our 250th year? What kind of country will we leave for our children? I will not allow the mistakes of recent decades past to define the course of our future. For too long, we've watched our middle class shrink as we've exported our jobs and wealth to foreign countries. We financed and built one global project after another, but ignored the fates of our children in the inner cities of Chicago, Baltimore, Detroit, and so many other places throughout our land. Ah. We've defended the borders of other nations while leaving our own borders wide open for anyone to cross and for drugs to pour in at a now unprecedented rate. And we've spent trillions and trillions of dollars overseas while our infrastructure at home <laughs> has so badly crumbled. Then in 2016, the earth shifted. Trillions of dollars overseas. Is he referring to the rebellion started, um, foreign aid or to purpose, the war machines we have? I think it's the war machines. Of all colors and creeds. Families who just wanted a fair shot for their children 
and a fair hearing for their concerns. But then the quiet voices became a loud chorus as thousands of citizens now spoke out together from cities small and large all across our country. Finally, the chorus became an earthquake, and the people turned out by the tens of millions. And I won! And they were all united by one very simple but crucial demand, that America must put its own citizens first, because only then can we truly make America great again. Sig Heil! 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 Woo! 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 Dying industries will come roaring back to life. Heroic veterans will get the care they so desperately need. Our military will be given the resources its brave warriors so richly deserve. Yeah. Crumbling infrastructure will be replaced with new roads, bridges, tunnels, airports, and railways gleaming across our very, very beautiful land. Hey. Our terrible drug epidemic when, when, will slow down. When does all this begin? Stop. I and mean, he was saying this 15 months ago to the uh, screaming mouth breathers. When does this begin? Above all else, we will keep our promise. Oh, no. Did you lose it? No. Oh. Well, damn, Kathy. Can you get it back? Okay. Okay. A couple of Hitler quotes here I think would be appropriate. All right, maybe in a minute. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a little over a month since my inauguration, and I want to take this moment to update the nation on the progress I've made in keeping those promises. Since my election, Ford, Fiat Chrysler, General Motors, Sprint, SoftBank, Lockheed, Intel, Walmart, and many others have announced that they will invest billions and billions of dollars in the United States and will create tens of thousands of new American jobs. Did you, did you notice that I think their mommies dress them the same today? I think, I think Ryan and Pence's mommies dress them the same today. I think so, yeah. The stock market has gained almost $3 trillion in value since the election on November 8th, a record. We've saved taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars by bringing down the price of fantastic, and it is a fantastic, new F-35 jet fighter, and we'll be saving billions more on contracts all across our government. We have placed a hiring freeze on non-military and non-essential federal workers. We have begun to drain the swamp of government corruption by imposing a five-year ban on lobbying by executive branch officials and a lifetime ban. Thank you. Thank you. And a lifetime ban on becoming lobbyists for a foreign government. We have undertaken a historic effort to massively reduce job crushing regulations, creating a deregulation task force inside of every government agency. And we're imposing a new rule which mandates that for every one new regulation, two old regulations must be eliminated. It's buy one, get one free Tuesday. We're going to stop the regulations that threaten the future and livelihood of our great coal miners.
We have cleared the way for the construction of the Keystone and Dakota Access Pipelines. thereby creating tens of thousands of jobs. And I've issued a new directive that new American pipelines be made with American Ten, steel. Tens of thousands of jobs from, from the Keystone XL? He meant I, tens I think and it's, tens. I think it's 280 jobs. Yeah, he meant tens and tens of jobs. I see. Whoa! We have withdrawn the United States from the job-killing Trans-Pacific Partnership. And with the help of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, we have formed a council with our neighbors in Canada to help ensure that women entrepreneurs have access to the networks, markets, and capital they need to start a business and live out their financial dreams. Yay! As long as they don't want birth control pills. That's true. No birth control. Or health care. No. Or Planned Parenthood. No. Uh -uh. Or, yeah. Yeah. Affordable uh, child care. <laughs>